it's Jennifer from Fiberflux. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make these plushy Easter egg hats. These take only a few minutes to make, and you can use any egg. This is a pretend egg, but you can use any egg for some dyed Easter eggs that you may be making, or if you want to use um, some fake Easter eggs and kind of line them up and use these little hats. They're uh, fun and they're a wonderful way to use up some scrap yarn too. We're gonna walk through every step of the way on making the little hat and then we're gonna make the ears and finally attach them on. Now, these ears are cute. They kind of stand up on their own. They're not super big and heavy that they'll flop over, but you can also, if you like the floppy look, you can kind of flop them over too. They easily flop over as well. And um, these are really fun to make. Now, we're gonna go through every step of the way. Also, uh, with the bow too, we have added a bow. You could add a button or a little gem or something like that. Now, I wanted to also say, in addition to this pretty crochet version, we also have a knit version. Now, many of you may not know this, but Fiberflux also has a sister site called Sparkle and Splatter that's uh, lots of knitting and uh, like family geared kind of craft activities. Um, some of you follow that channel and blog, but I wanted to show you because I made a knit and a crochet version and they look a little bit different and they're both equally cute. So if you want the knit version, I'll put the link down below for that and check out that uh, site and that channel. It's really fun, uh, very uh, family friendly kind of crafts. So we're gonna get started with our crochet plushy Easter egg hat. For this project, you'll need a pair of scissors, a tapestry needle, we're gonna be using a 6.5 millimeter K crochet hook. This is my furl streamline. If you'd like to get one for yourself, I'll put the link down below. For our yarn, I'm gonna be using some leftover honey bunny yarn. This was the yarn, one of the colors that I used to make the Candy Hearts tote bag a couple months ago. Um, and I had some pink left over that I thought would be pretty for this. This is a super bulky six yarn in case you need to substitute. It's kind of like a chenille style, but other style yarns would work just fine for this. Now, this yarn recommends a seven millimeter crochet hook and is a six super bulky. So um, just something along those lines, something similar. It doesn't have to be that exact hook recommendation, but basically the super bulky six would be fine. And um, the 6.5 millimeter K crochet hook for this. Now also, um, if you'd like to add a little bow to your um, little egg hat, um, I'm gonna be using some satin ribbon of a just a coordinating shade of pink, just like a pretty satin pink ribbon. This is very narrow, but really you can use any yarn scraps or ribbon scraps um, that you have on hand for this and just make a little bow. This is 1 8 wide if you wanted to replicate, it's very narrow, and it's just some satin ribbon. Also, uh, these are pretend eggs, they're not real, they look real, but I bought these at the craft store. You can use real eggs anywhere you wanna stick your little hat onto, but I thought if you're gonna use them for display and kind of put them out with the hats on them, um, pretend eggs might hold up a little bit longer than real eggs, but they will also work for real eggs too. We're gonna begin by putting a slip knot on our hook, and I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit more so you can see what I'm doing here. So let's put a slip knot on our hook. Wrap the yarn around your fingers to make a loop. Bring the yarn behind the loop, reach in with your hook, bring up a loop and tighten. Next, we're gonna chain four. We're gonna be creating a ring that we'll work our stitches into. So to make a chain, wrap the yarn around the hook and bring it through the loop. That's one, two, three, and four. And then we're gonna go, to, gonna go into the chain farthest from our hook, insert the hook into that chain, and we're gonna work a slip stitch to bring this into a, a ring that we'll work our stitches into. So bring up a loop, now bring that loop through the loop already on your hook. And now we have a ring that are going to, we're gonna work our stitches into. You can also hold this tail along the edge as you work to weave it in as you go along. As a side note, if you prefer the magic ring to create your starting ring here, um, you can of course do that, no problem. Okay. So to begin, we're gonna chain two, one, two, and then we're gonna work seven half double crochets into the center of the ring. So this chain two actually counts as one of our half double crochets. So we're gonna have a total of like eight wheel spokes, if you will, all the way around, okay? So to make a half double crochet, wrap the yarn around the hook, insert it into the center of the ring and bring up a loop. Wrap yarn around hook, bring it through all three loops. So that's one, two, three, Four, still holding that tail along the edge as I work. 
five, six, and seven, okay? Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna join with the slip stitch into that second chain up from the beginning of the round. Now this yarn's very plushy, but just look for those kind of telltale V's of the chains. And we're gonna join with a slip stitch to close the round. So insert the hook into that second chain up, wrap your yarn around the hook, bring up a loop. Now bring that loop through the loop already on your hook. And now we have the beginnings. Now if you have a little opening here, you can just pull that tail that we wove in and see how it just closed it right up. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is once again, we're gonna chain two. One, two, and in that same stitch, you might need to open it up a little bit because it is fluffy. Work a half double crochet into that first stitch. And then we're gonna work two half double crochets in each stitch around, okay? So half double crochet into the next stitch. Half double crochet into the same stitch. Let me just get a little bit more yarn here. These center pull balls of yarn are very handy. Okay, next stitch, half double crochets, two of them. So half double crochet, half double crochet, and we're just gonna do this all the way around. Okay, so work two half double crochet in the next stitch, one and two, two half double crochet into the next stitch, one and two, we're just doing this all the way around our little circle. Two half double crochet into the next stitch. Two half double crochet into the next stitch. One and two, coming around the circle here. Two half double crochet into the next stitch. and two half double crochet into that last stitch. One and two. Now once again, we're gonna join with a slip stitch to close the round. So count two chains up, insert the hook, just like that, okay? So now we've um, started to increase. So if you look at our egg, we're kind of coming around the top here. Now what we're gonna do is for round three, we're going to chain two once again, and this time we wanna start bringing our hat in. So we're gonna work one half double crochet in each stitch, okay? So in that first stitch, work a half double crochet. Now with this fluffy yarn, you might need to, some of these stitches, you might need to sort of feel around with your fingers, okay? So we're gonna just work one half double crochet in each stitch. We're gonna stop increasing and start working downward, okay? So just go around working one half double crochet in each stitch. And when we rejoin, we'll look at our handiwork and move on to our next round. Okay, just working that last half double crochet in that last stitch. And once again, we're gonna join with a slip stitch to close the round, okay? So what we can do now is cut the yarn and fasten off, wrap the yarn around the hook, bring it through the loop, now with this chenille yarn, you might get some little yarn crumbs, but that's okay. Now grab an egg. Now this will fit, I don't know if you've ever noticed, like at the grocery store, they have jumbo eggs and small eggs and things. This, this will fit a variety of egg sizes. So you can put your egg hat on there and just kind of shape it on there. And it looks really, really cute. Okay, it fits very nicely, has a nice fit. Okay, it's time to make some bunny ears. So let's gear up for that next. I'm gonna scoot this stuff out of the way. Okay, now we're gonna make a really quick and easy little ear. I've already made one, let's make the second one together. So what we need to do once again is put a slip knot on our hook. Then we're going to chain six. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then what we're gonna do is for row one, we're gonna work in to the second chain from the hook. So this loop again does not count. We're gonna go one, two, and work a single crochet this time. So insert the hook into that second chain from the hook, bring up a loop, wrap yarn around hook, bring it through both loops. Then what we're gonna do is work a single crochet in each chain across. So these will be made lengthwise. This is gonna be the length of our ear. Okay, 
So now what we want to do is we want to chain one again and turn. Now in that very first stitch, that loop at the very base of that chain that you just did, work a single crochet in that first stitch and in every stitch across. So single crochet, single crochet, single crochet, and a single crochet in the last stitch. Okay, now it's starting to kind of look like our other bunny ear here. So what we're gonna do is cut our yarn now and fasten it off. And at this point, it's gonna look a little bit square. Okay, this is gonna be the top of our ear. So we're gonna do some like creative weaving in of ends. Okay, it looks a little square, but we need to get a nice round shape. This tail we wanna keep in place because we're gonna use that to sew it onto our little hat in a minute. So let's deal with this tail up here though. Grab your tail and thread it in your needle. Now see how this one, this one has a more rounded look because I'm going to show you how I did that. So you're going to take your tail and you're just going to kind of like go in the top edge here of your bunny and we're just going to kind of like come back down. So we're making an arc with our stitches, okay? So bring it back down and when you pull it, it sort of gives it a more rounded bunny ear look, okay? So then what you can do is just kind of go into the back of the ear. Now this yarn is so plushy, it's very forgiving and just weave that in. Give it a snip. And now we can grab our hat again. And I'm gonna keep this egg carton handy because this will sort of get these out of the way. This is gonna kind of hold our little hat in place while we work, okay? So you can see our two cute little ears are just perfect. All right, so grab one of them. And we have a tail here. This is plenty of yarn to work with to sew it on. And what we're going to do is once again thread our needle and we're going to, let me just scoot this egg out of the way, we're going to kind of hold our hat and position our ear just like that, okay? So take your needle and you can use this center as a guideline just to kind of center it on there. So kind of bring that edge of the ear to that center, okay? And then what we're going to do is we're going to just kind of sew this on. I'm going to kind of flop that ear forward. And we're just gonna do like a very simple whip stitch. If you're not familiar with whip stitch, it's just a kind of like a spiral through your work. It's a nice invisible seam. And we're just gonna kind of run a, a little simple whip stitch through this, okay? Then once you get to the edge here, go ahead while it's still in the needle and go into a loop and don't pull it all the way through, but just send that tail through that loop to create your knot. And then, now my needle came off here. I'm gonna rethread my needle. Hopefully yours didn't fall off. And we're gonna send our, our tail to the middle of our hat so it's inside, okay? And then what you can do on those inside loops is just kind of weave this in, okay? Oh, I might, this uh, chenille is very like silky and slippery, so sometimes it slips off the needle. But what you can do is just sort of weave that in on the inside of your hat and give it a little snip. And then while you're at it, that center tail, remember we wove it as we went along when we made the hat, give that a nice tug also. Now the hat's gonna look a little goofy right now because we're sewing things on and everything. We'll straighten it out in just a minute. Okay, grab your other ear. This is a tail we will deal with in a minute. Grab your other ear, and we're just going to thread that needle as well, and position our, our ear on there. I'm just kind of putting it side by side with the other one, and I'm going to like sort of fold it down. That we can really tack it down when you sew it. And we're just going to do a whip stitch. Whoops, didn't mean to whip stitch around the other ear. We want to leave that one alone. And we're just going to kind of whip stitch across here. all the way across where, whoops, keeps hooking that ear. All right, all the way across here. And then when you get to the end with your ear, leave a little loop and just bring it through, okay? 
Now, once again, take your tail into the inside of the hat. I like to do that because it's hidden. And then bring it through and then go into those inside loops, just like that. And snip it. All right, we still have one more tail. That's where we left off on our hat. And we're just gonna weave that end in as well, okay? So just go in with your tail into the inside of the hat. Just go in nice and slow. Do nice, neat finish work because it really makes a difference. And then I'm gonna take my scissors, give it a little snip, okay? So at this point, your sweet little bunny hat is complete. You can kind of shape things up as needed. And the ears can be floppy like this, or you can kind of straighten one up, or you can sort of, they even have a kind of like a little curly quality too. I think that makes them look kind of realistic. So here's your egg and your egg now has the cutest little bunny hat. Now, I like the satin ribbon, so I'm gonna add a little satin bow to mine. So let's kinda, let's zoom out a little bit so you can see better. I'm gonna kinda park this hat over here and we're gonna grab our um, ribbon. I'm gonna cut, oh, I don't know, about eight inches. And what we wanna do is we wanna take our ribbon and we're gonna just tie a bow in the middle of our ribbon. Now the satin ribbon works really well because now I just tied like a knot in the middle and that's gonna give me a, a place to, to park my um, loops here. So you're gonna take it and you're gonna make one loop. You're gonna wrap it around. If you've never made a bow before, sometimes it takes a little bit of practice. Go around and then bring it through. Now, it doesn't look very nice, so what you wanna do is pull, this is kind of like a push and pull type of operation here. You wanna pull those loops, and then you wanna like pull them this way, and just keep doing that until the bow looks exactly how you want it to look. You can kinda of fluff those loops a little bit, and once you get it the way you want it to look, you can kinda of tighten it, okay? It's very tiny, but just, uh, just keep working with it, okay, until you get it how you want it to look. I'm gonna fluff those loops up. Flat loops uh, don't look as nice, so just kinda fluff them up a little bit, okay? Now, the tails are a bit long, so we're gonna trim those. I like to trim my yarn, or my, excuse me, my ribbon ends on an angle. It just looks a little bit more finished looking. And then, we can bring our bunny over here. Let me just get them all situated and just kind of like tack the ribbon on like that. Now, you can sew this um, bow on, but if you have a little bit of glue, again, this little egg carton it came with helps a lot to kind of hold it in place because it's sitting on a round surface. If you have a little bit of glue, hot glue, uh, craft glue, this is just some white school glue, it's totally fine. And also, I wanted to point out, uh, I think this side of the bow is actually better looking, so I'll, uh, you can just kind of play around with that a little bit. And I'm just gonna put the tiniest glue, bit of glue, because you don't want a ton of it on there because it'll get all over your yarn. But just kind of tack that down. And now, your egg has its own super cute Easter Bunny hat. Now let me grab the other one because remember at the beginning of the video I mentioned that um, our other site, if you haven't been on this site before, uh, Sparkle and Splatter is um, a craft and uh, kind of like a family craft and lots of knitting on there. So if you like to knit, there's the knit version of this on our Sparkle and Splatter site as well. So check out that pattern, I'll put the link down below. And let's go back to this one because this one is complete. You wanna let your glue dry before using it, but we have a plushy Easter egg hat. You can make these in all different colors and these look so cute to sit around. So that is how you make a plushy Easter egg hat. Thanks so much for watching and be sure and click the subscribe button to get all the latest FiberFlux video updates. Thanks again.